Okay, so the second stage of this project is splitting what you've done so far into three different classes. This is going to work behind the GUI, which is stage three. We need a customer class to hold details about the customer, an account, which holds details about the different things of his, on, on the level of his account, and transactions. Now, the prototype so far, it's been accepted by the bank, but they need to make it a large-scale system, so you're going to be using OOP. Um, I'd recommend this, that a customer, which you see on the left, contains a name, address, a phone number, a date of birth, and stuff like that. Um, it also contains a list of counts, because the customer can have more than one account, which can be an array list or, an, or a, a plain array. Um, I'd also recommend that at an account level, you store the account type and the balance, and a method to add in transactions, and at the transaction level in the transaction class, you have the type of transaction, whether it's a credit or a debit, um, the amount of money that's involved, and the date that it happens. This relationship is called aggregation, and it's generally um, carried out with an array list of, for example, of type account in as a as an instance level variable of the customer class. So a customer would contain an array list of accounts, an account would contain an array list of uh, transactions. Um, it's an example. You'll notice here that uh, an array list contains the generics syntax where you have to put the type of object that's going to be stored into it in here. That's the class that we're going to create for accounts. Uh, now, final final point is private variables. Encapsulation, we should have private variables and use accessors and mutators, or in other words, getters and setters for this. Um, if you think of the scenario when someone walks into a bank and drops money in a pile in the corner and then comes in later on, picks it up and takes it away, that would be the um, that would be a, a public variable, an example similar to a public variable where you're trusting people to access it from the outside and change it. However, what normally happens in a bank is that you go through a clerk or a person working on the deposit counter or the withdrawal counter. They make a note. They check that you have enough money in your bank account before they give you money out, etc. And that would kind of be similar to writing an accessor and a mutator methods, um, where you have you're allowed you allow a little bit more um, control over who can change the balance in the bank account. This is what a getter and a setter looks like. So again, lots of examples of this in our notes. And um, encapsulation, which is one of our concepts here, is making variables private and providing these methods to get, i.e. access, and set, i.e. change those variables. Now, um, I have some classes which I've generated. You're free to either use my classes or take your original logic from your ATM project stage one and try and copy it across but the structure of the class should be correct it should have aggregation in there at the three levels at the customer containing accounts accounts containing transactions it should use accessors and mutators gets and sets it should have private variables and you should be using the keyword this in several places good luck